Aries, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. I'm gonna do a mid-month reading for you guys, so let's tune in, shall we? Let me tell you, we are connected. So let's tune in, shall we? Let's get five shuffles. What's going on with the Aries during this time? Whoops. <clears throat> Let's get two more shuffles. All right, ladies and gents, I want two more. What's going on with the overall Aries when it comes to matters of love? The Chariot could be dealing with the Cancer. The Ace of Swords, communication coming your way. Three of Swords regarding a major heartbreak. Nine of Cups could still be remaining single. I'm not seeing any unity. Let's see, what's, what's with this Ace of Swords? This is all about a breakthrough queen of wands there's definitely emotionally charged communication coming your way this could be coming from you or you could be dealing with another fire sign or someone here that is exhibiting a passionate energy all right the tower it's going to come in swiftly gemini i mean gemini i did the gemini reading but so what i'm seeing here communication is coming forward here somebody is wanting to work together six of coins they're wanting to establish some sort of balance ladies and gentlemen all right. Hmm. The Eight of Cups. They're wanting to walk away. Somebody here wants to walk away from something uh, tumultuous, emotional blockages that are hindering the relationship from what? what from hindering what? Oof, what? <laughs> Some sort of uh, dark attachment that is basically has this individual bound or is bound to the relationship. Maybe you and somebody, I mean, obviously you and somebody here are in discord. It's quite clear. And they're basically wanting to do away with this devilish energy here. What's with the Three of Swords? I see an apology coming forward here, Aries. Ten of Wands. Someone here is way overburdened. This could be you or the person or both of you. All right, what's with the Ten of Wands? The Sun. Oh, this is blocking happiness, ladies and gents. We got the King and the Queen of Wands. So, buddy, let's see. It could be a Leo that you're dealing with, but I don't feel... Someone here is definitely turning their back and neglecting putting in effort into this connection here with the Seven of Swords. And they're sabotaging themselves. They're sabotaging happiness. They're sabotaging happiness in the relationship. Simply because... Why? Why are they in the Seven of Swords? Because they're just completely disillusioned. Someone here is like doesn't have the motivation to work on this situation. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Four of Cups. What's going on here with this Nine of Cups for Aries? What's going on here? The Judgment. Ooh, this is wonderful. This is a reawakening. <laughs> I don't want to sneeze, ladies and gents. So communication is coming your way, Aries. Let's just say this. You may not be seeing eye to eye with someone. There's major heartbreak surrounding this situation. You or this individual wants to come forward. It seems like they are coming forward here. They want to release the attachment, the negative attachment that is encompassing this relationship. And then you got somebody else. Again, this could be you or your person. They're absolutely disillusioned and unmotivated to work on the situation. But as communication comes forward here, so does the judgment. It brings about a different perspective here with the hangman. All right. So this individual is getting a different perspective. And what? And what? They're just looking at things clearly. It seems like someone's perspective is shifting. Doesn't mean that there's going to be reconciliation. But I do feel as if communication will be entertained. There is definitely potential in whatever it is that you're dealing with here okay yeah let's see what's going on let's see what's going on with aries's energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with <clears throat> oh lord come on buddy jesus don't fear the reaper i doesn't say that you guys know what song i'm talking about I forgot who sings it, but it's called The Reaper, I think. It says someone doesn't fear the Reaper. It doesn't say Jesus doesn't fear the Reaper, but it sounds good. That fits. Anyway, what's going on with... <laughs> I was to say, what's going on with Jesus? What's going on with Aries? What's going on with Aries, guys? Let's see. Yeah, that'd be, that may be a cue that you're acting like a saint nowadays. What's going on? Two more shuffles. What's going on with the Aries energy? That could be absolute bullshit. You could be the biggest devil on earth, ladies and gentlemen. Well, maybe. I don't know. Look, the hermit here at the bottom of the deck. We got the chariot. 
we got the Queen of Corns and the Knight of Swords. So you are definitely moving here. You're in motion. You may be the individual that's coming forward and communicate, communicating here, Aries. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Look at this here, buddy. Knight of Cups. So Aries, I mean, not only the Knight of Cups, but we got the Knight of Swords. Wait, 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 wait. Furthermore, we got the Chariot, ladies and gents. What do we got at the bottom of the deck? Let me take a look. We got the King of Pentacles and we got the Queen of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Now we got the King of Pentacles. God damn it. I'm going to just slow down when I talk. Otherwise, I'm going to stutter. We had the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Now we have the King of Coins and the Queen of Coins. Fascinating. I love these synchronicities, ladies and gents. We've been synchronized since the get-go. All right. Let's see. What's going on with the chariot that, and that Aries is exhibiting the justice. Aries, it seems like you want to basically bring about balance into a situation. You're appearing as the queen of coins. So this is someone that definitely wants stability in what, whatever it is that you're investing into when it comes to your love life. All right. Furthermore, you probably want to get knocked up. You're trying to have a baby, aren't you? Look at you, buddy. You trying to knock someone up or get knocked up. That could just be an indication that you want to grow and you want to expand. That you want to plant seeds that will grow into something uh, better for you, right? Harmony in a relationship. Look at six of six of cups. You could be dealing with someone here that you feel as if you have a past life connection, or maybe you guys have a long history. Either or, there's an element of oldness. But we do have a lot of soulmate energy here with that double double. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about the double double from In and Out Burgers, ladies and gents. All right, with uh, animal sauce on it. Uh, it's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about double court matches, okay? What's with the Queen of Coins? The Queen of Coins is um, clarified by the Knight of Cups. Damn, Aries, you're coming forward and communicating, ladies and gents. I think that, you know, low-key, you're a little stressed out about this, but you're just going for it. It's like you're breaking from your own fucking prison, your own mental prison. You're like, I'm done with this shit. I don't want to be in this energy anymore. I'm going to go communicate. And here comes Aries with their message. It's going to be lighthearted, so it seems. But I feel that it's going to be backed up with truth. A lot of integrity here that you're exhibiting with the Justice Knight of Swords. What about the Knight of Swords? The Sun. You definitely want to bring happiness, don't you? All right. You're using your willpower. You're using everything you know to bring about happiness in a situation, Aries. Fascinating. Aries is being a saint. What did I say? Jesus. Wow, look at that. Anyways, what's going on with the uh, with whomever it is that Aries is dealing with? What's going on with this individual? Let's get three more shuffles. Un, dois, tres. Interesting how Portuguese is so similar to Spanish, obviously, right? They're neighboring countries. What's going on here with... Um, Two of coins, the chariot, hmm, and the queen of cups. So your person here could be a water sign. A lot of Cancerian energy here. Nevertheless, what is it that they're juggling? Why is it the two of coins here? What's with the two of coins for Aries? Aries' is person. Damn, this individual here is definitely thinking about a long-term commitment with you. I definitely see that. Whoa, tell me more. Tell me more about this individual here. Yeah, you see, they're in between two worlds, ladies and gents. This is what they're juggling. They're like, full long-term commitment or a fucking, you know, obscurity and just kind of insecurity in, in this relationship is what I'm seeing here. Why is the moon here? You know, insecurity in regards to like the possible success rate of this connection. Why is the moon here? The tower, because of whatever broke whatever breakup, whatever happened here. You know, whatever. I feel like you guys had a really negative fallout and it just stayed in the dark. That's really what it looks like to me. All right. But it seems like this individual is inclined towards having a new beginning. This is interesting. I'm curious now. I want to clarify the chariot. What's going on with the chariot? Now that I see that they want to reconcile. All right. What about the chariot? What's the chariot? Mm. Yep. I smelled it a mile away. This individual wants to reconcile. Fascinating, Aries. Seems like you and somebody want to get together. Okay, what about this Queen of Cups? What about the Queen of Cups? 
the sun. Look at that. You got a happy camper here. Someone's gonna be feeling really good here really soon. All right. The magician, Aries. Both you and this individual got these both cards in the last clarification. I told you you're using your willpower to manifest happiness into this relationship. So is this person. All right. This is a mid-month December reading. Fascinating, ladies and gents. Anyways, I'm going to continue this in the extended. In the extended, I'm just going to focus solely on your individual. All right. I'm going to focus on how they perceive you, what future they perceive with you. I already see a reconciliation unfolding. I'm going to look into this individual's actions towards you during this time, mid-month. And then I want to look into the, the trajectory of where this is going. All right. Where is the situation going? into the next year. If you're interested, the link to the extended will be in the description. If you're interested in accessing all the extended, look at the link below that. Nevertheless, Aries, it's a pleasure always connecting with you. I'll see you guys next time.